The first thing I do is print out the template. This one's a smaller template. This popsicle will be one meter and 37 centimeters by one meter. Okay, so the first thing I did was put the template on some cardboard. That's right guys, what I'm using here is a sheet of cardboard. I bought this in a stationery shop and this sheet of cardboard that I bought is one meter by one meter 20. The first thing I do is transfer the template to the sheet of cardboard. As the cardboard sheet is a little smaller than our template, I position the template leaving the popsicle stick off for now. So I'm going to arrange the straight bottom part of the popsicle right at the edge of my sheet, as you can see. Now it's just drawing on the template using a pen or whatever you want to use. I'm going to use a Bic pen. And in order to help me, I'm going to use my ruler on the straight part so that the line is nice and straight. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the corners of the board and also use my ruler to help me here. After you've copied your template onto the board, it's time to make our popsicle stick. And to do this, I'm going to go ahead and use the part of the cardboard that was left over from our popsicle. So you can go ahead and copy your template onto the part that you haven't drawn on, on your cardboard sheet. Draw on your template and go ahead and cut it out. For this, I'm going to use a sharp pocket knife, which will really help me out. You don't need to rush this part. Take your time on each part so it's a nice, clean cutout. Slowly cut using your utility knife along the lines you have marked out and then after go ahead and go over the lines a second time in order to have a clean and rounded cut. Perfect! After you've cut it all out you're going to put together these two parts. Remember to attach your popsicle stick nice and central on your popsicle. If you need help with this you can use your template to help you to see where to attach so it's nice and central. I'm also going to go ahead and cut out a strip of cardboard and this strip can be whatever size you want. It could even be the length of your popsicle stick and you're going to attach it to the back of your stick so it stays firm on your popsicle. Now I'm going to get my popsicle template. I'm going to put it on top of my cardboard cutout and go ahead and mark these coloured sections so that I have the correct sizings for my strips marked down. So for this I can use my ruler and a pen or a pointed object to mark out the coloured parts. Now that we've marked out the sections, I'm going to glue this piece of cardboard onto my popsicle stick and then glue the stick onto the popsicle. To glue it on quickly, I'm going to use a glue gun, but you can use white glue for this too. And so you can see that now I'm using the template to help me and to check that everything is correctly in place to make sure it's all good before I continue. Now we've done our gluing on the front and also on the back to make sure the stick is nice and firm. Once you've completed this part, you can turn over your popsicle and stick on some craft tape where the popsicle joins with the stick. I've cut out some 15 centimeter long strips that will go around our popsicle and some strips for the inside of 14 to 14.5 centimeters. These ones are going to be a little shorter because they will sit on top of the cardboard cutout and the lateral strips will stick to the edges of the cutout. Because of this you have the slight difference in height. And now it's time to make some markings on the strips. I cut the strip every one and a half centimeters to make this oval part. Remember that the cuts need to be light cuts on the strips. For these strips you can use either a sheet of Depron XPS, which is a type of polystyrene, or you can use a foam board. You'll make your cuts in the same way whichever sheet you decide to use. 
Every time I cut this part here, I use my template to check that it is correct and that I'm making the cuts in the right places. I need to use my template as a guide for this curved section. If I want it to be curved on the outside, I cut on the inside. If I want it curved on the inside, I cut on the outside. And using this technique, we're able to make our strips nice and curved. On the straight part of the strip, you don't need to make these light cuts. These light cuts won't cut right through your board, they're just light. It shouldn't come apart. So you're going to use your utility knife lightly just on the top of the board and then loosen out the back. And so to help me glue this on, especially on this curved section, I'm going to use masking tape to hold firm the strip whilst the glue dries. And so I will attach the strip to the bottom of the board using my glue gun here on the edge of the strip and glue it to the board. Because the top rounded section is bigger and not so narrow, I make my cuts on the strip every three centimeters instead of every one centimeter. This creates a greater space between each light cut on the wavy section. And I'm gonna glue on all the parts nicely. If you enjoy watching videos like this or making this along with me, go ahead and give us a like or share on your social media platforms. I'd be really grateful because this is such a help to the channel and means that I can bring new content and art to you all here. So help me out, I'm counting on you. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button. You're so welcome here. Don't forget to leave your comment on this video to let me know what you would like to see here on the channel, which will also help me create content specifically for you. Okay, let's continue. So here we glue on all this section, as well as the popsicle stick section. And I'm also going to glue on the inside strips. On the template, you can see the sizings of these inside sections to make it easier for you. Just to let you guys know, in order to make the inside and outside sections, I used practically two foam boards. And so with all of the shelf sections glued on, look how great it looks. Now it's time to paint and for this part my beautiful daughter Barbara came to help me out with the painting. Just using a roller and PVA craft paint. Painting each section and we painted yellow, pink, blue and the popsicle stick almost like a nude colour. It looked really nice. Take a look at it all assembled and painted. Now it's time to fill it with balloons, all of them already blown up to six inches. I put the balloons inside with the tip facing inward and it's ideal that you paint the popsicle the color of the balloon you will fill it with. So as we painted our sections, we did this considering the color of our balloons and the colors we had at home to do the painting. So I'm gonna fill mine with pink, blue, and yellow balloons, and a nude one here in the bottom section. The cool part about these sections is you don't need to glue on your balloons because the strips already secure the balloons in place. These sections were made with the perfect measurements for the balloons, and so the type of balloon that you need to blow up is six inches. All of them are six inches in order to look uniform and equal sized and placing the balloons the same distance and with the strips the same size in order for your balloon to fit perfectly. In this final section, the balloons will be a little looser and so you can stick them in using double-sided tape or a glue gun. But if you use a glue gun, remember to do this with a low temperature. Thank you. 
you can arrange it like this, on top of the table or at the side of the table or the entrance where your guests will see it as they come in. It will look really great. Imagine various models of this spread out at your party making an Instagram perfect photo opportunity. Another thing you can do is hang them up because it's a very light structure. So you can use some string to make a loop and secure it with some masking tape almost like a band-aid, attaching the string to the back. So now's the part where we will hang up our work of art. And if you want, you can stick on some more tape to make sure it stays nice and secure. And you just need a nail and you can go ahead and hang it up on the wall that you would like to use for this. So now's the part where we will hang up our work of art. And if you want, you can stick on some more tape to make sure it stays nice and secure. And you just need a nail and you can go ahead and hang it up on the wall that you would like to use for this. And take a look at the finished result. Isn't it great? I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna stick around here. Lots of love to you all and see you for the next work of art. Bye!